Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to create this selective reversing effect in LumaFusion. The method used in this tutorial combines clip reversal with the use of a Luma mat. Luma mats were discussed in a previous tutorial. You should be seeing a link to that episode right now. With that said, there's no need to watch it right away. I will still cover and explain all the steps in this episode. This is the effect that you'll be creating for this tutorial. And this is the clip before applying the effect. The secret behind this method is in the criteria used to choose the video for the effect. First, the camera must remain still for the duration of the clip. As you'll see shortly, the clip will be divided into areas that will be reversed and areas that will remain as they are. Those separated areas need to remain in the same place throughout the entirety of the video. If you're filming your own footage, use a tripod or place your camera on a surface that will remain still while you're capturing the video. Secondly, make sure that the separated areas of the video that you plan to use can be isolated. Look for overlaps. Videos where the same object appears in one area of the video and later on a different area are not good candidates for this effect. For example, in this video, notice how cars go in and out of the selected area when one lane is selected. However, look what happens when, using the same video, these two lanes are selected together. Notice how the cars are now contained in the selected area. This is how the video looks after the effect is applied. When ensuring that objects remain within one designated area, consider their shadows and reflections as part of the object. For example, take a look at this video. Notice how the cars in the lane closer to the camera are reflected in the traffic sign. When defining the different areas in the video, the closer lane and the traffic sign should be in the same area. This is how the video looks after the effect is applied. Also, look for cloud shadows as they can also break the effect. If a cloud shadow is cast across separated areas, consider it as an overlap and look for another video. Keep these principles in mind when looking for a video to use with this effect. You'll be better identifying issues at this point and not after putting work and effort creating the effect. As for why I'm using a Luma mat and not chroma key to separate the reversed and not reversed areas in the video. Originally, I intended to use a chroma key mask. The video that I'm using for this tutorial contains shades of green, so I encountered issues using the green screen key. There are also elements of blue and red in the video that created imperfections and made it difficult to work with blue or magenta as key values for chroma key. So instead, I decided to create the mask using a Luma mat. Being monochromatic, a Luma mat doesn't have any issues masking colors. A Luma mat is a black and white video or image that when applied to two videos, one on top of the other, determines which parts of each of the two videos are shown based on the luminosity of each pixel in the mat. Don't worry, you'll see what I mean shortly. Before we get started, if you like my LumaFusion tutorials, please like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, suggest ideas and improvements, and consider subscribing. Your support keeps me motivated. Let's begin by creating the Luma mat and defining the separate areas in the video. It doesn't matter if the area you are defining will be the reversed area or the area that will not be reversed. Just go with what's easier to define. For this video, the right lane will remain as is, while the rest of the video will be reversed. We'll be defining the area that will be reversed, so it is everything besides the right lane. Notice that the cars on the right lane cast a shadow on the traffic lane separator. This means that the lane separator should be considered as part of the right lane and therefore should not be included in the area being defined. This is what will be covered by the area that we are about to define. 
We start in LumaFusion with two copies of the video that we are using for this tutorial, already placed in the timeline. Add a title above the first video in the timeline. Expand it so it covers the whole duration of the video below it. This title will be used as a Luma mat. Edit the title. Start adding shapes with a black face color to cover the area that you want to separate. In this case, it will be everything except the right lane. Make sure none of the shapes have shadows or edges. For each shape that you add, set the opacity to 75%. This will allow you to see how the mask is covering the video below it. As you're building the mask, play your video multiple times to ensure that the mask completely covers the area that you want covered and that there are no overlaps that you may have missed when you chose the video. Once you're satisfied with the result, set the opacity of all the shapes in the mask back to 100%. Now, add a final white rectangle to the title and increase its size so it covers all the screen. With the rectangle still selected, send it to the back. Next, tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Expand the Blending section and select the Silhouette Luma Blend Mode. As you can see, the right lane is obscured and the rest of the screen is visible. As a last touch, tap on the Colors and Effects tab and under the Drop section, select the Gaussian 10 effect. This creates a soft edge around the mask that will hide imperfections when placing the reversed and not reversed areas of the video together. Exit back to the timeline. Select the video under the Luma mat you just created and reverse it as shown. This process may take a few seconds or more if this is the first time you are reversing the video. Exit back to the timeline once again. Clone the Luma mat and place it on top of the second video. Edit the Luma mat you just cloned. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab and add the inverse effect as shown. As you can see, the right lane is visible and the rest of the screen is obscured. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks so far. Notice how the two Luma mats are mutually exclusive, but with a small overlap caused by the Gaussian effect. Export the project. Now create a new Luma Fusion project and add the video you just exported. Make a cut right in the middle of the video, so now the first clip contains the reversed video and the second clip contains the right lane that hasn't been reversed. Both clips will have the exact same duration. Place the second clip just above the first one. Edit the second clip. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Expand the Blending section and select the Linear Dodge Blend Mode. Exit back to the timeline, and we are done. Here's the end result. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, 
please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.